here we have a small map that presents one of the two things that the Alt Rebbe teaches in the 53 Prakim of Lakutei Amarim. We can say that the Alt Rebbe teaches two things in these 53 Prakim. Number one, he teaches how a Yid can go about connecting to Hashem. And number two, he teaches what is the purpose that a Yid is created for. And so the first of the two is about a Yid connecting to Hashem, which that itself has three parts, because we speak about a Yid connecting to Hashem. So we have a Yid, we have a Shem, and we have the connection. So we have to learn what is a Yid, who is Hashem, and how does a Yid connect to Hashem. And so the beginning, the Alter Rebbe will focus on what is a Yid. And as we'll see, starting with Parak Aleph, the Alter Rebbe will teach that a Yid has two Neshamas, two souls, ten Kaychas, and three Levushim. And then the Alter Rebbe will continue and also teach about who is Hashem. And within all of that, we will learn how a Yid is able to connect to Hashem. In this parak, which is the first parak, the first chapter of Lukutei Amor of Tanya, the Alter Rebbe will present questions about Sadikim, Beninim, and Rishayim. The Alter Rebbe will present a number of teachings from Chazal about these three different levels of Yidin. And as we'll see, there are actually five levels because there are two levels within Sadikim and two levels within Rishayim. So the Alter Rebbe will present a number of teachings from Chazal about the different levels of Yidin. And also, as well as establish that a tzaddik and even a benani don't have any averus whatsoever. And based on this, these questions that the Alter Rebbe will ask, as well as the Alter Rebbe establishing that both a tzaddik and even a benani don't have any averus whatsoever, this compels us to look underneath the surface of a yid in order to answer the questions that the Alter Rebbe will ask, and also in order to understand the difference between a tzaddik and a benani. If both of them on the outside are the same, in the way they conduct themselves, neither of them have any Averis, so this compels us to look underneath the surface of a Yid, beginning by establishing that a Yid has two Neshamas. And all of this will be presented in this first parak. Number one, the teachings and the questions on these teachings about Sadikim Beninim and Rishayim. Number two, what we have here in parentheses, establishing that when it comes to the way they conduct themselves in regards to Averis, at Sadik and even a Benini are exactly the same. And number three, the beginning of looking on, underneath the surface, going beyond the way a Yid conducts himself in thought, speech, and action. And beginning with establishing that every year is two Nishamas, and Alter Rebbe will begin by talking specifically about the Nefesh of Bahamas. Perak Aleph, the first Perak. The Alter Rebbe begins by presenting a teaching from Abraisa. Tanya, it's taught in Abraisa, but save Paragimel the Nida at the end of Paragimel of Nida. The Braisa says, Mashbi'im Oisai, they make him take an oath, meaning they make the Neshama take an oath before the neshama enters a person's body. And the oath is, Tihi tzadik va'al tihi rasha. Be a tzadik and do not be a rasha. The oath continues, Va'afilu kol ha'olam kulay. And even if the whole world in its entirety, O'imrim l'cha tzadik ato, say to you, you are a tzadik. Heye be'inecha ke rasha. Be in your eyes. You should see yourself like as if you're a Russia. And the Alter Rebbe asks two questions on this. And we have to understand the Hatnan Aves Perek Beis, for it's taught in a Mishnah in Aves Perek Beis. The Mishnah says, Va'al tihi Russia b'fnei And don't be a Russia before yourself. So that's a contradiction. The Brisa says, Heye be'inecha k'rasha. You should be in your eyes like a Russia. And the Mishnah says, Va'al tihi Russia b'fnei And don't be before yourself. Don't see yourself as a Russia. And the Alter Rebbe asks a second question. Vegam and also, Im of k'rasha, if he will be in his eyes like a Russia, if a person will see himself as being like a Russia, then this will lead to a problem. Because Yera Levavai, his heart will feel bad, and he will be depressed. Hashem, and he won't be able to serve Hashem besimcha with joy uvetuvlevav and with a contented heart. And it's very important for a person to serve Hashem with joy, like it says, ivdu es Hashem besimcha. And if his heart does not feel bad at all from this, if a person says that he'll see himself as a rasha. And in order that it shouldn't lead to the problem of being depressed, he won't allow it to make himself feel bad. That will also be a problem. 
Then the problem is that He may come to carelessness, God forbid. If a person sees himself as being like a Russia and it doesn't make him feel bad, it may lead him to be careless and not to care about his state, that he's a Russia or a tzaddik, it doesn't matter. Rather, the matter is, meaning... In order to resolve the questions that we had, we have to look at a certain matter. We find in Gemara five categories, five divisions. A tzaddik, and it's good for him, meaning that things are good for him in his life. A tzaddik, and it's bad for him. Russia v'toivlai, Russia v'rali, a Russia, and it's good for him. A Russia, and it's bad for him. Ubainani and Abainani Uperashu Bigmara and they explain in the Gemara Tzadik Vitoivloi Tzadik Gomer a Tzadik and it's good for him this is a complete Tzadik Tzadik Viraloi a Tzadik and it's bad for him Tzadik Sheini Gomer this is a Tzadik that is not complete Uveraya Mehemna Parshas Mishpatim Perish and in Raya Mehemna Parshas Mishpatim he explained Tzadik virale, a tzadik, and it's bad for him. What that means is shahara shabai kafuf that the bad in him is subservient to the good, etc. Uve Gemara save parak test the brachos, and in Gemara at the end of parak test of brachos, over there it's explained tzadikim yitzer toiv sheftin chulu tzadikim the yitzer toiv judges them, etc. Rishayim. Yitzhahara Shaiftan, Rishayim, the Yitzhahara judges them. Bainanim Zevaze Shaiftan Vukulu. Bainanim, this one and this one, meaning both the Yitzhar Taiv and the Yitzhahara, judges them, etc. And the Gemara says over there, Omar Rabba. Rabba said, Kigaina no Bainani. For example, I am a Bainani. Omer le Abaye. Abaye said to him, mar birya The master does not leave life for any creature, etc. Since there's nothing left for anybody else, since if Rabba is a Bainani, then everybody else must be on a lower level, the level of Rishayim. So we now presented that there are five different categories of people, and we introduced and presented a number of different teachings about these five different categories. So the Rebbe now proceeds and says, To understand all of this clearly explained, what exactly it means by everything that we said about these five different categories of people. And also to understand what Eiv said. And it's found in Bava Basra, Perak Aleph. He said, Rebbeinu Shalaylam, Master of the Universe, Barasa Tzadikim, Barasa Rishayim Chulu. You created Tzadikim and you created Rishayim, etc. And the question is, V'ha Tzadik V'rasha Loika Amar. But he, meaning Hashem, does not say a Tzadik and Rasha, which this means that before a child is born, many things are said about that child, but what's not said is whether that child will be a tzaddik or a rasha, but rather it's left to the person. So how could Eve say, Barasa tzaddikim, barasa rishayim, you created tzaddikim, you created rishayim, if we know that Hashem does not create that part of the person, whether he'll be a tzaddik or a rasha. V'gam lahavin mohus madregas habainani. And also to understand the essence of the level of the bainani. What exactly is the level of a bainani? For certainly, he is not half merits and half sins. Because if so, How did Rabbi make a mistake about himself to say that he is a Benini? And it's known that his mouth did not cease from learning so much so until we say that even the angel of death was not able to control him. And that being the case, the question is, And how was he able to make a mistake of having half sins, God forbid? So obviously that's not the level of a Benini that he has half merits and half sins. 
And the Alter Rebbe continues, Va'id, and furthermore, meaning we're adding to our original question to understand what exactly is the level of a Benini. First, we negated that it's certainly not half mitzvahs and half of Averis. And now we're saying that to say any explanation would seem that it doesn't fit. Va'id, and furthermore, Shahare Bisha Sha'isa Venus. For at the time that he sins, Nikra Rasha Gomer, he is called the complete Rasha. And if afterwards he does Tshuva, Nikra Tzadik Gomer, he is called the complete Tzadik. And even one who transgresses a minor sin of the Rabbanon, of the Rabbis, Mikri Rasha, he is called a Rasha. Like it's taught in Perak Beis of Yevamis, and in the first Perak of Nida. And even one who has in his hands to protest, and he didn't protest against somebody doing an Avera, Nikra Russia is called a Russia. This is taught in Perak Vav of Shvuas. And certainly in all the more so. By one who neglects a mitzvah say that he is able to fulfill. Like anyone who is able to toil in Torah and doesn't toil, 